Chris. I. Black Friday just occurred. Yeah, I know. We actually didn't spend as much as we've spent in years past. No, we didn't. Not anywhere near. We just bought three printers. I think that's actually all we bought. Two Chromecasts. Were those Black Friday deals? Yep, and uh, some RGB bulbs. Which don't work. One of them works. The normal A19 one. <laughs> that's not in those bundles. Yeah. Um, okay, so we've already unwrapped our little uh, Monoprice Flash. Delta Mini V2 Flash. We bought a total of three printers. So this is the El Elegoo Neptune 2 Cartesian. I say his name should be Leaf. What? Leaf. Leaf. L E. I think it's L E I F. Why? The first oh, Viking to I see. Uh, okay. uh, Leaf. land. Leaf Erickson. Yeah, Leaf Erickson. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's not Eric. Okay. Right. I, so this is Leaf. It could be Leaf. Vespucci's over there. We'll get to Vespucci later. Vespucci. Uh, Vespucci, like Vespucci Beach in like, Grand Theft Auto like 5. Like Amerigo Vespucci. Vespucci Beach. Okay, so this is the Elegoo <laughs> Neptune. Dear God, let this one two. work better than the Ender 3. Uh, yeah. I still need to post that video. Maybe I'll have a, like a clip right, right here, of the Ender Three. Now here's the difference between this one and the Ender Three. First of all, we have a BL Touch for this one. Which did you make for the Ender Three? Where is the BL Touch? It's over there. Okay. In the computer room. Okay. We do and have a BL Touch. Second of all. God, please let this not sound like dying cats in my kitchen. This is supposed to have. TMC 2208 or 2209 stepper drivers. I don't know <laughs> Which are supposed to be very quiet, so no more cats dying, hopefully, in, in the kitchen. kitchen. You know, except for, you know, when the cats get in fights. Like <laughs> our actual cats get in fights. Like real cats okay. get in fights. Okay. Do you want to uh, do the. Uh, okay, yeah, I guess you're going to go right <laughs> here and do it. I'm hoping that this is easier to assemble than the Ender 3. I, I was going to actually try. Okay. Um, I did find a really good guide online. It's actually from Elegoo. Elegoo we're judging this Elegoo, against the F, uh, we're, we're judging this against the Q5s as far no, as assembly. You know, nothing is going to beat the Delta. <laughs> no, nothing can beat the Delta. <laughs> you take it out of the box. It's assembled. Um... <laughs> But no, I'm, I'm going to judge this against the Q5s. Q5 was pretty easy to assemble also. I shouldn't need that. Not anymore, no. For the rest of the video. But yeah, uh, the Ender 3 hey, took... look! It's foam! Oh, it's got well, it's shaped cutouts. Okay. Yeah, wow. Um, the Ender 3 took like... I don't know how many hours to assemble. That thing was annoying. Two and a half. To assemble. Okay. Nice build plate, but it doesn't. Oh, yeah. It's supposed to be removable. Okay, this must be the actual build plate, and then there's a sheet that you put on top of it. Maybe. This, oh, there's binder clips right here. There's clips. It's held in place. So this video is going to be moving to the floor. You're going to put the little stripey liney thing here and go boop. <laughs> stripey liney thing. Boop. Yep. There's a lot of parts. Okay. Oh boy. Bag of stuff. I guess that. Um, spool holder. Yep. Think I'm a bobby that goes boop 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 boop. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> the other thing about bobby. That goes boop 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 boop. 
Yep, yep, that's There's exactly what it does. Computer chip in there. Yep, and that it has a filament runout sensor. So if you run out of filament, it stops. And does that? No. no. <laughs> that's one of the limit switches. <clears throat> X axis, Y axis, I don't know. It's not the Z axis. Uprights. No, that's a tool to bludgeon people. Yeah. These are all the uprights. I'm ready for the zombies. Just use 3D picture parts to ward off the zombies. Okay. And then. Too. All right. So here it is. The Elegoo Neptune Two. Or Elegoo, I don't know how to pronounce it. I've heard YouTubers pronounce it Elegoo. Alexa, what time is it? It's nine thirty-four p.m. So about an hour and a half. Okay. But part of that was setting up for recording, sweeping the floor, <laughs> yeah. and laying all the parts out. Okay. So. Compared, so probably about an hour. Compared to the Q5, <sighs> how would you say it is? Q5, you don't have to actually look at the manual because it's all like, oh, this makes sense. It's pretty this obvious sense. that this piece is going to fit right here. Yeah, the Q5 is like a, a fifty-piece puzzle. I'm is it a sticker? Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. What? Oh, it's just a. I, I guess there's going to be no warning, so we're going to just like, stick <laughs> it's screwdrivers not a warning in here and stuff. It's not a warning thing. <clears throat> it's a who assembled it, who checked it. Oh. Okay. They should have left it re or assembled. So, the FL Sun Q5 takes 45 minutes for me to build one. This took about an hour. If you figure out, it took probably about a half an hour to set up for recording, sweeping, and laying out the parts. I don't actually count laying out the parts as build time. 
<coughs> because let's be honest before you build anything period you probably are laying out the parts and making sure that you have everything mm -hmm. so it took 15 minutes more to build than a uh, q5 for me um part of <coughs> my issue was this manual which you have to refer to for this because it's not exactly obvious what goes where is written in english it is not written in english it is written in English. Uh, for example, the end with long holes distance. What? <laughs> the end with short holes distance. The end with holes of the aluminum profile. Whoa. Oh, wow. <clears throat> that is the entire manual. So once you figure out their form of English, it's not too terrible. Belt shoot. I would... Belt hook. Hook. Yeah, I would call it a hook. Hook, okay, Mr. Translator Guy? You know, I'm sure <laughs> if there's somebody watching who has assembled like... 20 of these? Yeah, they're like, just let me do it. Right. They're frustrating me. So, okay, that being said, once you got past the English, it was fine. Um, the other issue I had was the entire manual is in grayscale. So, and Chris is going to put a picture of, like, this particular page, because this page, putting one oh, yeah, part on, took the longest of the entire when, process. When you're talking about these gantries, <clears throat> it, it is, they're not, they're, it's very disorienting on so which way's up, which way's if, down. Well, and here's the thing. This is them zooming it in. That is not zoomed in. That is the exact same as everything else. <laughs> this is not zoomed in. So if you have any kind of eye problem at all, hello, you're looking at this like, okay, I'm an old person now. That is what took the glass. longest was figuring out what orientation they had things. Like at one point, Chris took something out of my hand and he rotated it. And I'm like, what the bleep did you just do to me? What the bleep? And he's like, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm like, give it back. I had it right. And I did have it right. You did have it right, yes. I just was trying to figure out where the heck things went. Mm -hmm. um, so Chris will post a picture of this particular page. Yes. <laughs> Guys, um, zoom in. It's okay to use more paper. Zoom in so people can see what you're pointing at. And maybe make the whole thing not one color. But you know, Elegoo's, Elegoo's official... YouTube channel <clears throat> does have a very nice, nice video. Which I chose not to watch. I wanted to see how the manual would do. And then we'll let you watch the video and you can see like, oh god, I should have done that in the first place. I'm fine with that. I just, I wanted to see how well they did <clears throat> their manual. Um, it, it's not terrible. Like, the, the two things that I have pointed out are so nitpicky that, yeah, um, it's not a huge deal. It's not a deal breaker. I am very excited. I think, I know that we have the BL Touch for this guy. I think it would be really cool to hook it up and try a print without the BL Touch. We will try a vanilla because <coughs> BL Touch, you have to actually print a part to mount this, which I think is actually cool. But you have to print a part to mount it. It goes right here next to the effector. And they actually do have two screw holes here to yep. mount it. Which is cool. Yep. Um, but I guess it's not just as simple as a... Uh, plug and mount, play. Yeah. And this being a new printer, there's not really... Like, even the official Elgo site said this. There's not really firmware that they have already compiled for you on their site. You actually have to find out which version of Motherboard you have, <coughs> download the existing firmware, then modify it with, like... I mean, it's simple, like, BL Touch equals 1 and all that but there's also like four other settings you have to modify so it's yeah. 9 30. so we're not going to do this tonight so. uh, well i was gonna say why don't we see how much of a pain Ooh. in the butt it is to level it yep and let's i've got that trophy i need <clears throat> to print i'm guessing this is going to be about the same as the uh creality was the ender 3, i'm hoping not which was a pain um, I want to see if this is a removable bed. It's a removable bed. Once you take all the binder clips off. And then I've seen people just leave the binder clips open. 
Yeah, which we're actually probably going to do anyway. Yeah, I'm going to. Because these ones are uh, annoying. <coughs> oh, Removable bed. Especially that one. There we go. Removable bed. Take it off. Let's see. Oh, oh. well, that's not very... Oh, is, is that, that glass? Oh, that's a... Okay. Please remove protective film before use. It's a good thing we took it off. <laughs> you you remove the protective sticker that's on the protective film. Okay, so... Is there a film? Yes, there is. It's this bluish stuff. This is just a plain, pure aluminum plate. Oh, it's not glass? No, it's just aluminum plate. That really helps got with it. the heat. Okay. Good thing you got it. That really helps with the heat dissipation. Or not dissipation. Transfer. Hey, that's why my microwave was blue for years. It had one of those on it. <laughs> and I had the microwave for like six years. And I'm like, huh, this is weird. And I was like scratching at like something that I thought was flaked onto the microwave. No, it was a protective film. I was kind of sad that I didn't have a blue microwave anymore after that. Aww, because that's pretty awesome. <coughs> blue is cool. Alright. The little Neptune logo. Does that have a film on it? Oh. No. Okay. <coughs> no. Okay. Alright. Well, let's boot her up. Let's, let's just put the gold filament on and my trophy on and test it. Okay. But I need to know, this doesn't work with Kira. Um, oh yeah, that's does right. Does this have the stuff I need on the disc? Yes, it does. Okay. Which is a version of Kira. But it doesn't work with Kira. They have their own Kira profile that we can download and import <laughs> into our version of Kira, which is the retail version. Thank you. Um, Go deal with that. I'll figure out how to auto-level this bugger. I'm not sure what's going to be more frustrating for you. I, I know how to level a printer at this point. Okay, you have to level, 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 level. And level. Level, 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 level. You have to go through it twice. That's what they recommend. Okay. And make sure it's Feeler level. gauge or paper? Paper. And then these are... <coughs> okay, these are a lot easier to turn than the Ender 3. Or oh. one was also. Um, okay. Uh, okay. So, we'll, uh, we'll check back. And maybe Chris will set the camera up, time lapsing me leveling it. No audio, because she'll be swearing. And a no, lot. there won't be any audio <laughs> because I have a sailor mouth. <laughs>